How many of you are here for the free cookies? Because we've discontinued that. Oh. KFC has introduced many limited edition and briefly popular items over the years. However, fans still desperately await the return of some of the franchise's most delicious but no longer available food items. Here are 10 discontinued KFC items that we desperately miss. I miss them out for you. Kentucky Nuggets. Never nuggets or no nuggets now. KFC is best known for its incredible selection of homestyle chicken, but the most popular chicken-related item in the fast food industry has always been chicken nuggets. For the brief time KFC got into the nugget business, they quickly became hyper-popular and even became the second most successful chicken nugget seller globally, with only McDonald's beating them out. Like many other forgotten but beloved KFC items on this list, the world famous 11 herbs and spices that infuse nearly every KFC menu choice helped make the Kentucky Nuggets distinct and delicious. One of the oldest discontinued items we'll be highlighting, the Kentucky Nuggets, have not been a consistently available menu item at KFC since the mid-1990s. That's a long time. Without the wide selection of dipping sauces that competitors, especially McDonald's, had to offer, the nugget option at KFC failed to hold a unique spot on the restaurant's menu. While diehard fans of the Kentucky Nuggets remain disappointed by its disappearance, they might be delighted to know that an alternative is still available on some KFC menus, the Beyond Nuggets. Fast food lovers that enjoy a meatless alternative can still enjoy nuggets with the unique KFC urban spice infused flavor that they've come to love. Zinger Chicken Sandwich where the hell's my chicken sandwich? While the Zinger chicken sandwich is still available in other countries, the extremely popular menu item has disappeared completely from KFC menus in locations stateside. Hardcore fans of the KFC brand will remember the item as a not terribly different but absolutely delicious alternative to the KFC Crispy Kernel sandwich, an item that remains available at most KFC locations in the U.S. The unique feature that set the Zinger apart and kept fans coming back for more? The promise of a fast food chicken breast sandwich that was always double hand breaded and fried to a golden brown. Yummy! While the crispy and extra crispy options of today have a similar flair and flavor, the Zinger sandwich had the appearance of a beautiful, deliciously fried flour with delectable chicken inside. The extra sick pickles and saucy dressing that adorned the sandwich helped finalize the identity of this lost but still loved KFC sandwich. With enough attention and demand for the unique sandwich in other locations, it could eventually lead to a comeback in the U.S. We can only hope. Kentucky Roast Beef Where's the roast beef? One of the oddest and most hard-to-believe items on the list, the Kentucky Roast Beef Sandwich is from a bygone era of the fast food industry. In 1968, roast beef sandwiches were still a hyper-popular item at both sit-down restaurants and family dining tables across the United States. In an effort to gain a wider customer base and appeal to the down-home style and brand of the Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise, a la carte and combo roast beef items began to appear on Kentucky Fried Chicken menus. Welcome! The roast beef sandwich remained a choice on most Kentucky Fried Chicken menus until the mid-1970s, when its popularity began to noticeably dwindle and other fast food chains had begun placing a larger emphasis on their own roast beef choices. Nowadays, customers flock almost exclusively to Arby's when they crave a fast food roast beef sandwich, and there's no indication that KFC has any desire to bring the choice back to their menus in the future. Potato Wedges Oh, I need my wedges! Missing potato-infused items on fast food menus was a massive deal during the summer of 2020. KFC's always delicious potato wedges also vanished and have yet to become a consistently available food item on many KFC locations' menus since. 
While fries and other similar items still adorn the restaurant's side items menu, the lack of the classic potato wedges make it much harder to get a unique, satisfying meal at the Colonel's house. With the inclusion of fries on the KFC menu, many fans remain confused as to why the wedges have disappeared from KFC's selection at all. I just don't understand. But their questions and appetites have continued to go unfulfilled. The closest answer to the controversy KFC has given was in an interview with Business Insider in 2020, where representatives communicated the company had decided to replace the potato wedges with a more brand-appropriate secret recipe fries item. With the continued demand for the classic-style wedges to be brought back, many fans continue to see their beloved bygone wedges as the restaurant's true secret recipe. Kentucky Grilled Chicken um, do you have a skinless grilled chicken breast? Fans of fast food and more health-conscious eaters alike found themselves intrigued by the possibility of a leaner, juicier version of their KFC favorites. The fact that you could once get any of their chicken items in this style was considered revolutionary in the fast food biz. While KFC has veered off of this path with their restaurant's tasty brand, other fast food chains have taken advantage of this lost line, with Chick-fil-A and their ever popular grilled nuggets being the most well-known example. However, other restaurants simply failed to make their grilled items as memorable and uniquely flavored as KFC's grilled options. I'm disappointed. Do you know the reason for this? Actually, there are 11 of them. Yes, we're talking about KFC's famed 11 herbs and spices. Without these delectable, brand-defining herbs and spices, the Kentucky Grilled Chicken items would never have gained the unique reputation they still hold today. Unfortunately for KFC, however, the grilled items were notorious for underperforming compared to the crispy and fried options, which ultimately led to the item being discontinued from the franchise's menu altogether. Cheetos Sandwich it's like two logos in every bite. One of KFC's rare but always hype-worthy limited-edition menu items, the KFC Cheetos Sandwich, was a huge yet controversial hit when it came out. Take the hyper-crispy, flavorful base of a KFC Crispy Kernel Sandwich, add a bed of good old Cheetos, and top it all off with a mysterious, one-of-a-kind Cheetos sauce, and you have the odd Frankenstein's monster that was the KFC Cheetos Sandwich. Definitely crunchy and marked by its distinct orange hue, even the most knowledgeable of fast food sandwich fans would be hard-pressed to point out a similarly styled sandwich in the history of the fast food industry. One of a kind. The KFC Cheetos sandwich was notorious for how messy and often hard to eat it proved to be for many KFC customers. Die-hard fans of strange, limited-edition fast food items flocked to the store for a chance at beating the beast, and the item proved to be fairly popular during its limited run. Despite its interesting premise and brief popularity, fans have not been as widely vocal about bringing back the KFC Cheetos sandwich, but those that fell in love with the item still call for its return from time to time. Apple Turnover It's all about turnover. Any KFC diehard fan will tell you that the franchise's dessert options have often been one of the key delights of the KFC experience. Cakes, cookies, parfaits, especially the mouth-watering little bucket parfaits, which were also tragically discontinued. But among the KFC faithful, the crunchy, rich taste for their apple turnover is the most nostalgic taste that they continue to yearn for. The item was a massive hit during its time on the dessert menu and provided an excellent dose of sugary goodness to follow the savory chicken feasts that KFC is known for, especially for families buying family sized dinner meals at their local KFCs every Sunday, the apple turnover provided a distinctly American and distinctly delicious dessert option that kept the entire family happy. That was a delicious meal, Daddy. Unfortunately, KFC has significantly downsized its dessert options on its American menus over the last few years. You can still grab a bunch of crunchy, chocolatey treats, however, with their chocolate chip cookies and chocolate chip cakes being available countrywide. With any luck, maybe the beloved apple turnover option will find its way back onto KFC menus in the near future. 
pickle fried chicken. Oh. I brought fried chicken. While the pickle fried chicken sandwich might seem to be a knockoff of the zinger sandwich at first glance, the distinction between the two cannot be overstated amongst die-hard KFC fans. This savory special sandwich is not only adorned with a few thick-cut pickles, but is literally flavored with and cooked in pickle juice, making it extra sour, salty, and unique. Fans of Dill Delight sought out the pickle fried chicken sandwich in droves when it was first announced, and it remained popular and available until very recently when the company announced they would be discontinuing the popular but increasingly harder to provide item in 2021. No! God, please, no! The downfall of the pickle fried chicken sandwich marks one of the most recent losses the KFC faithful have dealt with on this list, so the wound has not yet healed making it one of the most desperately missed items to disappear from KFC's menu. Until it's, hopefully soon, return to menus, fans will have to spice up their kernel sandwiches with their own spices and sauces to recapture the dill-packed, vinegary, onion, and garlic-infused masterpiece that was KFC's Pickle Fried Chicken Sandwich. Double down. Okay, we double down. By far the most notorious of KFC's discontinued items, the Double Down was famous for being a breadless sandwich when it came out. While the increasing popularity of lettuce wraps and other breadless sandwich items is important to point out, the fast food scene has largely ignored this trend, helping to maintain the Double Down's breadless flair unique amongst fast food fans. The bold, deliciously unhealthy concoction even found pop culture attention, including a hilarious stand-up bit dedicated to the item by Patton Oswalt. Hey, I'm famous! Comedy fans with a taste for KFC treats should check it out. KFC fans that love meat, cheese, and bacon, but tend to avoid carbs, flipped out upon the sandwich's reveal. Anyone that was able to get their hands on the Double Down during its triumphant run knows how messy and unwieldy the sandwich could be to eat, but that didn't stop it from quickly becoming a bestseller on KFC's menu. With any luck, the one-of-a-kind trailblazing sandwich will return to KFC's menus sooner rather than later. KFC Snacker It tastes just like KFC. KFC has not always been well known for their value menus in the same way McDonald's and Wendy's have been. They've catered to more bulk value family meals to help you save a buck. But one now discontinued item does stand out as KFC's star value item, the KFC Snacker. A value-sized and priced crispy chicken sandwich that was infused with KFC's famous 11 herbs and spices premiered on the KFC menu for just 99 cents. Many stores began to immediately sell thousands upon thousands of the KFC Snackers, and its popularity remained strong until its discontinuation. It's really hard being a star. Unfortunately, value items are notorious for having razor-thin profit margins, and the KFC snackers simply failed to bring the franchise enough profit to keep the item on the menu. Perhaps one special day in the future, KFC fans will not only see the return of the snacker, but the return of many of the other nostalgically delicious, tragically discontinued KFC treasures we've come to miss. Get a taste of more great videos? Just tap or click and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.